Welcome to the Fearless English Podcast, where it's all about helping you confidently communicate with anyone without compromising who you are. Let's get started, Fearless Learner. Hello, Fearless Learners. It's Halima. Welcome back to this lesson. Today, I wanted to help you improve your reading skills in English. As you can tell by my voice, I think I'm losing my voice. It's starting to sound very deep and different, right? Am I right? <laughs> okay, let's look at the different um, tips I have for you to improve your reading skills. Now, remember that I know a lot of you will just want to, not just, but you want to improve your speaking skills. And um, sometimes you might be thinking, if I improve my English, let's say reading, it's a waste of time. Or if I try to improve my writing, it's a waste of time. In fact, it's not. Reading can immensely help you improve your vocabulary and allow you to see the the chunks, the sentences structured in a way that is natural. Now, let's start with the tips. Tip number one is to start with easy text. If you are someone who thinks about reading in a like a negative way, you think, oh, I just don't like reading. Um, why don't you start with simple text? Things like children's books, comics. Maybe you want to go on a website um, and start reading articles um, on different websites. This will be a great place for you to get started with your reading. The next tip is to use a dictionary. Whenever you see a new word, I want you to look it up, get curious. And some of the, let's say the apps, let's say um, if you are using Kindle or you're using any sort of application that allows you to read, you can tap on a specific word and you'll be able to find out the meaning of this word. And you find the words, not only do you find them, you find them easily. You don't have to even use a dictionary. So if you're using a physical book, you're going to need a dictionary. But virtually, if you're using an application, all you need to do is tap the word and you'll know the meaning straight away. The next one is to practice regularly. The more you read, the better you'll become at it. Try to set aside some time every day to practice reading, to read a little bit. Whether it's a book, an article, a blog post, the more you read, the more you will improve. Now, as you read, when you find new words, I want you to have a notebook where you start noting down any new words that you learn. And this will help you keep a record of any new words you learn and actually be able to go back and use it in sentences, put it on your um, cue cards, memorize it so that you can use it in your speaking. The next thing is, the last point, is to discuss what you read. After you finish reading um, a blog post, a text, a story, um, find someone that you can discuss the book with. This could be a friend a classmate or even a teacher, okay? Discuss the main idea, ideas, discuss the vocabulary, maybe you have some questions around the character, talk about it with your, um, the person, your speaking partner, whoever it is that you are, you want to talk to. This will help you become a lot better um, because the more you engage in what you're reading, when you talk about it, and you make it come alive, the more memorable it is, it will be for you. Now, by following all these tips, you will definitely improve your reading skills. I hope that you do take up um, some of these tips and you start implementing them. Thank you so much for being here. And let me know in the text, in the, sorry, in the chat, which book you're currently reading. So you can inspire other people to read um, a few of the books. All right, Fearless Learner, see you next time. If you enjoyed today's lesson, then you'll love our speaking club. 
where we take what we learn in these lessons and put it into action. You'll get to meet other women and practice speaking English every week for an hour. All you have to do is go to www.blackboardenglish.com forward slash cup. I'll say that again, www.blackboardenglish.com forward slash cup. Let's work together to help you become a confident English speaker. See you in class.